What's your full name? My name is Rob Adler Pecorar. It's two parts. It's Adler, A-D-L-E-R, and then P-E-C-K-E-R-A-R. Is it okay to use this online? Sure. What title do you use? Executive Director of Yiddishkeit, Los Angeles. Okay. What is Yiddishkeit, please? Yiddishkeit is the West Coast's largest uh, Yiddish cultural organization. We're a cultural educational organization that teaches about the history of Yiddish culture and Yiddish life and the ways that it continues to impact our lives today. Um, and we also look at Yiddish as a, a model for multicultural relations in the world beyond the Jewish world um, and the ways that languages come together and creative uh, things happen when people speak to each other. This, is this your first time seeing this picture? Well, no, I saw it when it was uh, sent to me as a screener, but uh, in the cinema, yes, it's the first time. Do you want me to hold this? or? Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, what's your impression of it as a, a, a connoisseur of Yiddish? Well, it's a very interesting film. I think that one of the interesting things that it's doing is that it's bringing together what we generally think of as this very insular enclave of Yiddish speakers in the world, um, Hasidim, which for people like me who are completely secular and look at the history of Yiddish as especially a, a secular history of a worldly literature, a European literature, um, an often anti-religious experience, um, and seeing its offshoots in American culture and musical theater and the movies. Um, it's a very interesting thing to see these two things come together in a film like this, where we have a lot of reference to world cinema and to ethnographic cinema um, and to these kind of character-driven stories. And at the same time, it's very much based within this very small um, enclave of Hasidic New York, of Hasidic B Borough Park. So it's very interesting to see it happening. Uh, we have a number of uh, Haredi communities here in the Southland. Uh, as a non-religious Jew, and I would say non-observant Jew, what kind of reaction do you get when you talk with them in Yiddish? Well, my general experience is that people are surprised that I know and I know Yiddish or I speak Yiddish, and generally that they speak a different Yiddish uh, than I speak, or they assert that they do. Um, and I've been uh, like people have asked, you know, questions about how I may have learned it or uh, where it where it comes from. Um, but for the most part, I don't actually have that much interaction uh, with uh, members of that community here in LA. Uh, how come? Well, it's generally not what I do, uh, and I think that there's actually um, perhaps almost a mutual lack of, a mutual disinterest uh, that often uh, I would say uh, that I'm not particularly interested in uh, the religious culture of uh, that contemporary religious culture, um, and I think that most uh, Hasidic communities are not particularly interested in the long span of Jewish cultural history uh, that happens in Yiddish, uh, from Shulam Aleichem to Mendele to a lot of the kind of um, politically oriented uh, material that comes out of the early part of the 20th century um, and the late 19th century. I think that that, that runs both ways counter to uh, the kinds of interests that those communities, my community of a secular uh, community of people who care about uh, world literature care about and people who care about kind of maintaining um, separate ide religious identities uh, care about. Uh -huh. Is this something that you uh, gleaned from your parents or your relatives? W Yiddish? Yeah. No, um, I, I grew up... Uh, Yiddish culture. Yiddish culture was certainly, you know, in the air as an Ashkenazic, uh, you know, person uh, in terms of food and words and hearing grandparents speak to their siblings um, yeah. in Yiddish. Yeah. But no, Yiddish uh, was something I came to later in my own life uh, when I was studying literature as a graduate student. Um, and uh, it was something that I immediately kind of fell in love with as as an example of the ways that uh, the stories that I had always heard about Jews uh, living in isolation or um, just amongst one another, uh, never interacting with the modern world, yeah. seemed to be untrue and that Yiddish kind of gives lie to that. Um, just in the very nature of it being a Germanic language, the fact that people must have been speaking to their neighbors, uh, that Jews interacted with lots of different people, that it, that really touched me in a way that uh, sort of stood aside from the the standard stories or histories of Jewish life that I had grown up with. Okay, okay. So, uh, oh, we have to go? Oh, we gotta go. All right.